Hello, and welcome to the first day of a 28-day drawing challenge. This is going to be an artist boot camp. That's right, an artist boot camp. This is my, it's an experiment for me, but I usually do something sort of like this in January. But here we are, it's February, we have 29 days, but we'll do it in 28. And the 29th will be a post-mortem. So who is this for? This is for all beginners. This is my workout plan. This is me building a workout, a workout plan in real time. And we'll be going over the basics. And this is my workout plan, the workout plan to improve in art. So why? Why am I doing this? I do this to make a routine. I believe a routine is the most important thing for an artist. Steady, consistent, without thinking routine, right? Again, I do not want to think. I just want to know what I'll be doing every day to get better, to improve. So to make, an, to make a routine, that is the number one most important thing for an artist, I believe. And two, this is for fundamentals, basics, and the basics, these fundamentals are the building blocks that will lead to other things to get us to improve in art. And thirdly, I just wanna have fun. This is more or less my, my way, my version, you can amend this, you can adapt this to however you want to do it. This will take all comers, right? Everybody who wants to do it, feel free. Take any part that you wish and adapt it See as you see fit. And remember, don't be perfect, just draw. Don't be perfect, just draw. Making a mess is great. That's what we'll be doing most of the time during this whole thing, be making a mess. I'm not really concerned with, like say what we're looking at here is 3D shapes. I'm not gonna be going you know, painstakingly over every line. I'm just gonna be sketching really loosely, going pretty fast because this isn't our end goal. This is just stepping stones, right? So we have 3D shapes here, basic shapes here, you know, in school, they teach you, you know, can you make perfect circles? It's like, sure, the computer can do it better, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, <laughs> right? Can I make perfect squares? It's like, oh, it's sure, but this isn't my end goal. This isn't where I want to start. I wanted to, I, I'm an artist. I want to draw cool stuff, and I'm sorry. This is nice, but it's not my end goal. So don't be perfect, just draw, and we're gonna make a mess. So I want you to ask yourself, what is your reason for wanting to become a good artist? Right? What would you do with higher skill levels? What is your reason? And lastly, I'd like to say, before we start, I don't think there is talent there's just skill. I, I'm not talented myself. I'm a good artist. I'm not a great artist, but it's mostly I just, I started drawing when I was four or five. I remember being seven and just drawing lots of animals. And then I just never stopped. That's it. That's the only difference between me and anybody else. I just didn't stop. And I'm a good artist and I want to become better, a lot better. So here we have simple shapes. I'll be using Photoshop for mine, but you can do this in any program you feel like. Uh, you can even do this traditionally on pen and paper, uh, pencil, paper, however you wanna do it, that's up to you. So here we have some simple shapes. We're going over this later. And then tomorrow we'll be doing 3D shapes. 
just drawing, you know, really quick. I'm not really concerned about being perfect on these. It's going to keep it a mess, right? Okay, so here is the schedule. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll show you the, the files first. Let's do that. Okay, so I want you, to, you're going to have homework, right? So I have my artist bootcamp file for 2024. And inside, I want you to make an artist bootcamp file. And it, within that file, you're going to have nine more files, right? And you're going to title those nine files art. And this is where you're going to put art heads. And so I open it and I have skulls and heads. You don't need the skulls, although we can find some on the internet, but we'll get to that next week. But heads, right? And so your homework is going to be to take photos of yourself of your head. So I have a front looking view, a three quarters, three quarters, profile, profile, downward, upward, and then upward, upward off to what my right, upward up to my left. Now you just need nine shots, primarily the front, three quarters, three quarters, Profile, profile. And that should be enough to get started. We can add more as we see fit. But that is the heads file. My skull file has skulls in it that I took of Horatio. My head, my skull model. And so, yes, I have downward, looking up, three quarters. Looking away, three quarters, the back. And more, the profile, three quarters. Looking to what, my left, profile, and three quarters away. You don't need a skull file, but I'll probably be going over some breakdowns starting next week. So that was the head file. The hands file, you are also going to take photos of from your phone of your hand in various positions. So start off with nine. All right, we just need a week's worth because this is what we're going to be practicing almost every day. Heads and hands, trying to get better at heads and various hand positions. All right, this is just an example of the homework that I'll be giving you. And then I have another file with more hands. Take as many as you feel you need, any cool you know, shots you can think of. And so that's the art, head, hands. And then we have anatomy ref, which is em empty. But next week, we'll start to put nine in here that we'll find from the internet or books. I have an anatomy for artist book by Gino Barkse. And what else do I have? I have a Bridgman. And so I'll be taking photos from that and doing some of those. Okay, a mannequin file. Mannequins are great because they are protoform humans. And so, so I have my mannequin file. We're going to make this next week, starting Monday. We'll go, so I'll go over, over this again on Monday. We have man mannequins. And we'll be drawing on top of them. All right, we're going to make these transparent. And every day we're going to do a different one. But yeah, we're going to make it transparent and draw on the top of it. Just to get an idea of what we're working with, right? And what basic shapes can do. So. The head is a circle, shoulders can be, the joints can be circles, shoulders, elbows, knee joint, circles. You can make uh, the torso is kind of like an egg shape. 
but I've also seen it done as a box. The hips can be in box and cylinders for the legs. And that's how we, we map out the mannequin as basic shapes, how that constructs a human. And that will be, I think, beginning Monday. So that is the mannequin file. And yes, in the mannequin file, we'll make nine mannequins. And then we'll move on. A more advanced level is statues. And so statues, we're going to find different statues that we can draw on top of. Because again, this is the famous one, David. Circles for joints, boxes for, say, the hips or the pelvic area. And maybe I shouldn't be showing this because there's nudity. And yes, <laughs> there will be nudity in this. So if you are at all squeamish, I'll probably try to cover that, cover it up with some tasteful censorship, but overall, as an artist, we are accustomed to nudity because we have pretty much the same shape. Now, an examples file. In an examples file, we're gonna put, say, artists that you like. So find artists that you like, their work, and put them in an examples file. Because this is what you want to become. This is where you're headed towards. Right? These are people that are more advanced or they can be just art that you like. But that's it's what keeps you focused and mo motivated to go forward. Right? Going forward. Now, freestyle. Freestyle on the weekends, we're going to do freestyle. And on freestyle days, you can do draw whatever you like. You can apply what you've learned to a drawing or you could just do more of the, the basics, like uh, simple shapes, 3D shapes, anatomy, and whatnot. Mis miscellaneous file has nothing in it, but this is where I'll be placing all miscellaneous stuff. Now I have a my boot camp file for notes. But let's now go to, all right, you're going to make a, this artist bootcamp file with nine files within it. Now let's go back to, you know, I feel a, a phone is like the easiest way for me to take notes. I just take out my phone and take a photo of whatever as my notes keeping system. I know it's janky, but it works for me. So if you want to take out your phone and take a picture of this, but this is the itinerary. This is the schedule for the month of February, of which we will be doing this thing. So today will be simple shapes, right? Circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, that type of thing. And then tomorrow we'll be doing 3D shapes. So we have shapes, circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, 3D shapes, cubes, cylinders, cones, pyramids, and a sphere. So yes, introduction shapes, introduction to 3D shapes. And then we'll get onto more, you know, how do you blend shapes together further down the line. But the first weekend is draw whatever you like. Draw what makes you feel comfortable just to get an idea of where you're at, what you like to draw. That's what this weekend is for. And then Monday starts the week of basics. And in the basics, we'll be doing more a review of shapes where every day we're gonna stack these, right? So we're gonna do some more shapes and then we'll go on to mannequins. We'll get the mannequin file set up and start breaking that down with simple shapes. Tuesday, more shapes, heads and hands. This is what the, where we start to do the build the heads and hands file. We'll start, you know, applying simple shapes to heads and hands. Then we'll do mannequins and some light anatomy. Wednesday, more shapes, hands, mannequins, 
more anatomy, and we'll start perspectives. I figured this will be the start of one point perspective, two points perspective on that Thursday, and we'll try to get some kind of a grasp on three point perspective on that Friday. But again, that Thursday, shapes, heads and hands, mannequins, anatomy. That Friday, shapes, heads, hands, mannequin, anatomy. And then starting that weekend, freestyle. You can draw whatever you wish, whatever you like. For me, the prompt will be superheroes, but I can add to that to have like a, maybe I don't want to do superheroes. I want to do something else. It's whatever you can Think of whatever makes you happy. And that leads into full week number two, which is the intermediate level, where we start, it's, we're just continuing to stack. Shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy. I'm gonna look into that sculpture file, break those down, because it's more complex than a mannequin. The shapes, how that you know can correlate to uh, sculptures and how those are constructed. And then we'll start some gesture, gesture drawings. And gestures are great because it gives you the line of action. It loosens you up and it's a building block to build more complex because you don't just want to draw mannequins. You want to get, you know, into a living, a simulated living, breathing person with attitude and, you know, the cool stuff. So then Tuesday, again, shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture. Wednesday, the 14th, happy Valentine's Day. Shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, and we'll do some more perspective. And this is the start of just doing perspective on Wednesdays, but it depends on you know what you're into, right? If you want to do more figure or character work, you focus more on this. If you want to do backgrounds, you would have more of a focus on perspectives and things of that nature. So on to Thursday, the day after Valentine's Day, the 15th. Shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, and gesture. And we'll do that same thing repeated on Friday, the 16th of February. Shapes, heads and hands, mannequins, anatomy, sculpture, and gesture. That weekend, freestyle. And my prompt is cyberpunk, but you can do whatever you wish. We should be getting, you know, gaining momentum, gaining steam. And that leads us into full week number three, which is a more advanced level. And again, we're stacking. Shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, and we'll get into photos of real life figures, more actual people, not just a mannequin and not just sculpture, but actual people. Perhaps clothed and unclothed, and we'll go over uh, the websites I usually go to for figure drawing. And then we'll move on to that. Tuesday, the 20th, shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, figure. Again, I'm on the Wednesday and with the addition of perspective, because it's perspective Wednesday. Thursday, 22nd, again, shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, figure. And the same goes for that Friday, the 23rd, moving into the weekend, we have fantasy. Whatever you like, freestyle, whatever you can think of. But I think I'll be doing probably fantasy, probably Final Fantasy, because that's, I think is cool. And moving into that last three days, and it's draw whatever you'd like. Apply all the stuff that you learned to whatever you'd like to draw. You can draw the thing that you did that first weekend, again, to see if there has been any marked or noticeable improvement, but this is a slow process. This is the building blocks. This is a routine that will get us to where we want to go. So that Monday, the 26th, freestyle, draw what you like. Tuesday, 27th, draw what you like. The 28th, the final day, 
draw what you like. And then on the 20th, 29th, this is leap year. We have a review, a postmortem. We'll look at the whole thing and we'll go, hmm, how can we make this better? Right? What can we do that would make this whole process better? How would I amend it? So that is my review postmortem. Break it down. What went well? What didn't go so well? What needs more work? You know, you can, it's like a report card to see where you're at and where you want to go and to align, you know, the work with where you want to go. This is just the basics. This is just a jumping off point for further improvement. Congrats and take a victory lap, right? You did it. You did. So if I can survive this 28 days, I will give myself a pat on the back and then prepare for the next challenger. And that next challenger is to keep running. Right? I think I'll probably do some freestyle on the weekends, but I'll probably take out Sunday because sometimes you just want to relax and I'll probably move this uh, say in March, April, May to just five days or four days a week and then amend things that I like I could probably take out shapes or do some light shape work, but focus on the things that I'm weakest at. Moving into the further months, right? I don't want to stop this. I would just amend it and keep moving. So that is the schedule for February. Artist Bootcamp Basic Framework. This is the basic framework. For you, I would amend it however you like. You can do it however you like. This is just a jumping off point for where I'm trying to figure out where I'm going, right? I know I want to be a better artist. And so I think this is the stuff that will, that will get me there. So once again, if you want to take a picture of this for your record, just so you know where we're at, but we'll probably open this every day on the days that we do certain things to you know, keep us on track. So that is the schedule. All right, now let's go to shapes. So if you want to make, see, say squares, uh, circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles, right? Let's make a new level, new layer. And I go to the elliptical marquee tool. Okay. So hold down shift. If you want to make a perfect circle, circle, never mind, don't deselect it, but stroke it 5% stroke. Okay. And it makes it it makes the circle for you, All right? So if you wanted to make circles, this is how I made the circles. If you're doing it this by hand, you can use a, you know, a ruler, a template. You can take a quarter and draw the circle. It doesn't matter. But let's make the square. Same thing. All right, come on now. Right click. I think it's the right click. It's just a little nub on my pen. I've just gotten used to this. So five pixels. Okay, for the stroke, deselect, and there it is. Rectangle is the same. Right click, stroke. Okay. Now the triangle, there isn't a triangle tool thingy. So I just had to do this by hand. And so I went to the, what is it? The brush tool. You could also use a pencil tool. I always seem to go for the brush tool. So I make a mark, hold down my shift button, and it makes a line. Right? Down again. 
and I kept keep holding shift and just clicking on the place and they're at the triangle. But yeah. And then if you want to duplicate these to make five of them. Shape, shape, shapes. Day one of shapes. So in my shapes file, I have the circle, squares, rectangles, and triangles. Now what I usually do, because this isn't what we want to do, right? This is just a building block. This is a proto form of to get us from point A to point B. This is point A. So I'm taking this and I'm, if I press V on the my keyboard and then press a number like two, it'll bump the opacity to that. So this is 20% opacity, right? I could do seven and that 70% opacity. Let's go back to 20 and I will take out my brush. I'll use the brackets to take down the, and then just, oh, my, let's make a, a new layer. Always make a new layer. And we'll call this the draw, the draw layer. And then does it work now? Yes. All right. And I don't really, it's circles, baby. Circles, 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 circles. Again, for squares, we'll take this down to 20%. Rectangles, 20. Triangles, 20. Go back to my drawing layer. Press B for the, to make a mark and We're going super fast, super ugly, super fast, because we're going to be doing this every day. Every day. We just want to be conscious of shapes and how they are the building blocks to pretty much everything. Everything you see around you is built off of a shape. The monitor I'm looking at is a shape. My arm is a shape computer, toys, food, shapes. Shapes are everywhere. And I'm not too concerned. We're just putting in the work. And that's pretty much all this is. All art is just putting in the work. Right? And if I turn off that, hey, I have some janky busted Circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. Hey, we did it. It doesn't look great, but you know, <laughs> this, this is what we're going to be doing. All right, if you want to do another one, you may. All right, I'm, I'm just doing this because it was the first day. I would have just stopped, but. <laughs> this is, we're trying to set good examples here. More janky stuff. Okay, go back to the draw layer. Press B. And circles. Janky circles. And if you don't know, I'm using a drawing tablet, a Cintiq. I don't have one of those nice fancy Cintiqs. It's just, it's sitting in my lap and I'm drawing while looking at my computer screen. So that's not exactly one to one, but it works for me. Janky rectangles, janky rectangles. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, choo. This is just the building blocks. Nothing fancy. We're not getting crazy with it. This is just a reminder. 
This is light work. This is our stretching. Light work. Okay. So we have two layers, two levels, two drawing. Let's do one more. And this will probably be the last time I do three. <laughs> because we usually have to get other stuff done. Okay. So we got the shapes, draw a layer, and are we ready? Janky circles, janky circles. And this will also help with hand eye coordination. Say if you're doing a, like my Cintiq isn't, I'm not drawing on the tab, well, I'm drawing on the tablet, but I'm not looking at the, the tablet. I'm looking at my computer screen. So it's helping with my hand eye coordination. And let's say we I just press seven, which is bumping the the opacity on my drawing. So it's darker now, but it really doesn't matter. They're all going to be janky. Janky, janky. If you're drawing along with me, congratulations. All right, you did it. I think I'm getting worse. Wait, OK. <laughs> oh, gosh. This takes me back to some of my early college classes of drawing perfect circles. And you're just filling pages and pages of circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. And mostly it was cool because of, you know, everybody else in the class is just like, really? <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing? Really? Uh, where's the cool stuff? Where can I, can I draw the cool stuff? I want to I want to draw the cool stuff. Okay, this is a lost cause. Okay, so that was artist boot camp day one. And remember the homework, right? If you want to follow along and you want to make your own drawings, take your phone, and then you're going to get reference photos of your hand, right, in various positions. So, mm, 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 you know, and then I want nine of them, nine photos of your hands in various positions and nine photos of your face. So say your face, since I'm on camera, I can just take this video. From the front, three quarters, three quarters, Profile and profile. You can do, well, the back is hard to do, so we won't worry about the back. But we want those photos. And we're going to save them, take them from your computer, I mean, from your phone to your computer, and then we'll put that in a file for reference. We're starting reference files. Very important for artists. Very important for artists. And they're better when, you know, you can pose your hands in any way that you want. You can use props. You can have it holding sticks, holding knives. Don't hurt yourself. So yes, make a reference file. Heads, hands for the next challenge. Artists Bootcamp. And I'll see you later.